Keynote is Apple's free presentation software. When you first launch the program, you'll be asked whether you want to open an existing file or to create a new document. We'll open a new document today, but if you're working from a supplied template, you can open that file instead. The first thing we have to do is to choose a theme. We're working with a blank presentation today. The size of the presentation doesn't matter because we're going to change that in a second. Before we get started, I'm going to take you on a quick tour of the workspace for Keynote. On the left hand side, we have the slides of the presentation. The section running along the top of the application frame is the toolbar, and the panel on the right is linked to the three tabs above, Format, Animate and Document. The information inside these panels will change depending on what object you have selected on the slide. The first step is to resize our slides for the appropriate social media platform. Go to the Format panel with your slide selected and you can edit slide layout. Go to the document tab on the right hand side and click on the document panel. This brings up the settings for the whole presentation. Go to custom slide size in the drop down menu and type in your preferences. If you're creating graphics for something other than Instagram, such as a Facebook banner, I recommend having a quick Google to get the most recent file size recommendations for that chosen platform. Now all of the slides in this presentation will be 1080 by 1080 pixels. This size will ensure that our graphics are high resolution. Keynote can only do one slide size at a time. If you're building up some templates for your visual branding, you'll need one file for your Instagram newsfeed images and another for your Instagram story images for example. Master slides are useful because they can be reused and built upon, saving you time when creating similar designs. They also create consistency with things like logo placement and use of colour. Go to the format panel with your slide selected and you can edit slide layout. Keynote already has some default master slides. We need to design a few basic templates that we can use on social media. If you don't have professional design guidelines to follow, and are unsure about where to start, get some inspiration from social media accounts that you like. I'm not suggesting you copy them exactly, but a little bit of direction helps in the beginning. All you really need are a few typefaces and colours to get you started. By using the same colours and typefaces, you'll start to build consistency across your Instagram account. I'm going to really quickly create a few slides based off an Instagram account that I follow that I think has got a great balance of images and graphic based tiles. This account uses three main colours. A serif typeface for the body and a basic sans serif font for the fine print. There's also this little lightning bolt symbol. I'm going to start by changing the background colour of the slide by selecting it and going to the Format tab. You can change the background colour here by using the default colours, or you can add your own hex colour if you have a particular colour in mind. You can change the background fill to be an image or a gradient by using the drop down menu. Next we'll change the style of the text. Keynote has access to all of the active fonts on your computer. If you have a particular font you want to use, make sure it's already loaded onto your computer before opening the program. Please note if the fonts you use in Keynote aren't available when you open the document later on, they will all default to a system font. Once you've styled your text, you end up with this asterisk. This means the original style, in this case title, has been changed. Hit the update button and now every instance of this style will be updated throughout the presentation. When you're working on master slides, 
Make sure that anything you want to be able to edit later on has the define as text placeholder checkbox ticked in the style panel, or you won't be able to edit it. You can create new paragraph styles by clicking on the plus when you open the text style drop down menu. Remember, when you have something like a text box highlighted, you'll know what can be changed about it by whatever's available in the right hand column. Keynote has some surprising flexibility when it comes to creating shapes. There is a simple pen tool here that I'll use to draw one half of this frame. Once I've created this half of the frame, I can copy and paste it and then go to the Arrange panel and flip it horizontally. Keynote has smart guides which automatically tell you when you're aligned to the centre of the slide or to other objects. For the lightning bolt icon, I'm just going to use one of Keynote's shapes. These are pretty fun to play with because like any object in Keynote, you can change the fill to be a solid colour, a gradient or an image. I'm going to name this slide and duplicate it to create a new master slide. I'll quickly adjust the design and update our new textile. Let's duplicate this slide again and create a dark green version. I'll change the textile for quote and add in this little line. I'll double check that all of my text on the master slides has the text placeholder checkbox ticked so it can be edited when we create a new slide later on. Once you have created your designs, go to File, Export To, Images and select the slides you want to export. I recommend PNGs, but JPEGs are just as good if you require a smaller file size. Keynote will ask for a location to place the files and will automatically create a folder placing all of your image files inside. You now have a set of images ready to be used on social media. If you're using automatic posting software like Preview, Later or Hootsuite, you can now schedule your social media releases like a pro. If you have been supplied with design templates, then the first thing you must do is make sure the fonts supplied by the designer have been activated. Your design templates have been built as master pages, as well as having a sample of each design in the main presentation. Use the plus symbol to create a new slide. This will bring up the master slides that have been created. You can also duplicate an existing slide by right-clicking. Once you have created your designs, go to File, Export To, Images, and select the slides you want to export. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Keynote is a really great tool for creating your own professional looking graphics without needing specialised design software. Thanks for watching and leave any questions you have in the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share.